what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i got this uh i got an email about testing out this underwater camera so I figured i'd give you guys an unboxing a video so basically well let's just go ahead and get the unboxing we're going to try to get some underwater shots for you guys this is the camera right here this is the canfish fishing can x so this right here is the underwater camera so essentially you tie your line to this side you tie another line to this side kind of like a leader and uh set your distance however far you want it and this little thing has a camera in it this thing goes underwater it has a light on it it's a pretty cool little invention and uh figured maybe i could get some shots for you guys underwater i definitely can load up on some crappy here i'm most likely to try to catch some crappy with this may try to catch a bass with it but uh it also has this little float mechanism right here on the top and uh you'd slide it in there like that so the camera's on the bottom and when it floats it would just video everything down below you so i'm probably not going to use the float today so I'm gonna keep that off you basically just download the canfish fishing app and uh, connect with it bluetooth wireless and uh, you can hit record on your phone and all that and this thing stores up to like two and a half hours of footage it's got a usb-c charger that it charges wirelessly when you plug it into the charging port it's waterproof up to like 656 foot deep it's got a 136 degree angle lots of cool features on this thing i'll probably give you a little rundown at the house on everything else it has but we're going to go ahead and unload the old native titan slide in here to the trophy pond and see if we can get you guys on some fish i'm not trying to waste too much time while it's good fishing time right now because i actually woke up a little bit late i was going to get on a good top water bite this morning and uh overslept just a little bit so without any further ado i'm going to put this thing right here in the kayak let's get to unload Okay, let's get in this bad boy. All right, well, before we do any camera shots, I just wanted to get a little top water bite while it's still decent for the next. I left my scissors too. All right, so I actually did not bring my good scissors today. Of course, I would leave them. So I'm gonna have to get this sketch knife out. This thing is sketch. So I guess we'll try to get some bass shots for you guys real quick. Throw in the old thunder chicken. So I'm gonna tie this thing on first, right here. And I pray to goodness I don't break this thing off. Cause if I do, money down the drain okay got the fish cam and we're not gonna do much all right attaching the old thunder chicken to it now i like the trilene knot also known as the two-turn twist knot go through the eye twice go around this five or six times go back through both the holes you created Virtually the knot I use for everything. So here we have this contraption right here. And if it works right, it technically does. So we're gonna see if we can get a bass first. Just switch this thing to on. Let me go to my phone real quick. Oh, that was the, uh, just got to go to your Wi-Fi, <clears throat> connect to the canfish. 
once that connects, you just go back to the app. And here's the camera view right here. Looking at me. I just heard one on the bank. We're gonna try to go get these. So I'm just gonna click. Oh, it's already recording. So let's try to catch some fish. Can we catch a fish on it? I'll be pretty curious if you can even see my bait. Well, I just slung my chatterbait off. How in the world did I do that? All right, we may save this thing for crappy fishing because I just slung a $16 bait off. And the last thing I want to do is sling this thing off. So let's go to Paul's recording. All right, so I'm just going to look and see what I got. Have I done something wrong? All right, there's my recording. Fit a load. I may have to use the float for crappy. Dang it, I had a little booger to bite. But it was just a little booger. He didn't hang on there very good. Oh man, I landed straight on top of that one. I don't know how I missed him. There we go. All right, I actually want to give the daggum Fishing lure another chance. One more, sh one more shot. Cause I mean, they're biting. Hopefully I don't have too far of a leader on there. We're gonna see if it works on top water. Let me uh, connect this bad boy. I heard it beep, which means the Wi-Fi is on. I just gotta catch one bass on this thing. There we go. There it is. All right, we're recording. Let's try to get us a top water fish. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Gonna play him. Hopefully this camera captures it. Come on. All 
Oh, he come off right there. He come off. I got one on the plopper though. I think I'm gonna uh, try the old bobber method because it's been hard getting them on this. All right, well, I actually don't think I got that on video. After all that I did. So I'm just gonna do the old bobber method. All right, I am connected. I'm gonna go find some crappie, some bass. I feel bad if I can't get any underwater shots for you guys. I might throw this thing out and get some underwater views of what the lake looks like. I know there's some crappie over here somewhere. All right, here's me. Gonna throw this bad boy in the water. And it'll go on like camera mode. It won't let me really view it. It says there's fish right there, so. Gonna see if I can catch some. Maybe get an underwater shot. Got a fish. Oh, it's a crappie. Big old crappie. Let me get you guys an underwater shot. You guys can see the fish. There's a bunch of big old crappie down there. Anyways, a crappie on a mock worm, dude. That's a big one. There's some mega crappie out here. All right, special shout out to my wife for today's lunch got a bottle of water got some meatballs mm. all right i love these little crappy jig tails my favorite look there's crappy right here right below me Got it. Got him. Ah, don't splash me, boy. Don't splash me. Bam. As easy as that, guys. Oh, they're right here under me. Big crappy, dude. I can't catch a little crappy out of here. Come on, man. I made a 10 pound bass I eat that. And there's probably tens in here. I imagine this is what they eat. This is a steak. Big old filet mignon. It's what them big girls like. Let me see if the light's on. All right, if you guys can see, it's got the lights on. I'm just gonna throw it there and drag it on the bottom. Maybe I can see something. Check one, light. Throw it out there. Just sitting on the bottom. Move it a little bit. Got 
curious to see what's all down there. I'm gonna throw it over this log right here and see if it picks it up. See what all type of quality this thing does. It's hot. I'm ready to go. I feel like this wasn't the most banger of videos, but it's summertime, it's rough. Alrighty, let me know what you guys think of the canned fish fishing underwater camera. Uh, I feel like I wasn't able to get this thing a good chance because the water was a little stained for one. Um, I feel like this would be a great, uh, a great lure in like really clear water or when the fish are spawning in the spring and you want to cast over there and uh, check out a bass bed or something like that. I feel like this camera has applications and opportunities that I wasn't, I really wasn't able to like utilize and really, uh, you know, really get what needed to get got. But I mean, I was able to see a little bit, the crappy, some grass on the bottom. Like I said, it wasn't too clear. The thing was a little bit heavy. So it's really nice to have that float that that come in handy like when it's bed fishing time on a crappy bed when there's a bunch of fish the clear water but I don't know that's just what I'm thinking you can have your own opinions on whether or not hold on shh, on whether or not you think it's worth it or not worth it uh, if you guys are fishing a lot of muddy Georgia water I probably wouldn't do it but I guess if you guys think of another application or a way I can use it, maybe tie some treble hooks on that bad boy and see if I can catch a fish on the actual lure. Hold on, I'm trying to do an outro. But without any further ado, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, peace out guys.